song! It's so good! Okay. Let's, uh, let's press forward. Now, we will not be getting bombs here. We will be using a lot of bomb flowers, though, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Alright, so we are just gonna blow up these rocks here, just so that, you know, we, uh, we can. We, we, we need to do that to get up anyway, so, you know, it works out, it works out. I got another ten, hooray! Alright, now where's, where's this? Here we go! Set it down, gently. Da -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. The ten! Oh, this song is so good! Alright, we need to get that one. Um, here we go. Uh... Eee! Please! Yes! Okay. Alright. Now. Just need to get over here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I will be playing the, um, uh... Uh, the, what, what is it? The, the Postman minigame? The Post Office minigame? I'm actually pretty good at that one, so I'll play that one for y'all, just so that you can, you know, see it. Uh, I'm pretty good at it, although I, I say that now. <laughs> I may be a bit rusty. I've, I haven't played this in, I think, ten years. Like, almost ten years. This has been too long. Sit down. Da -da 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 -da. Now don't worry. You hop down here. And you got a nice little shortcut here. That's, that's what you do. There we go. And, uh, normally there's a guy out here. He probably appears later, like, if I leave the area and come back, he will- he will be there. Alright. Hello, Quill! What's up, man? What's up? Hi! Link? Link, is that you? It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. I have boat. And your sister, is she- uh, about that, uh... Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll, I'll mention this in a minute. I gotta, I gotta remember it, though. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will, bri will befriend you- blah, 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 blah. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our Aerie. It's settled, then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. Okay, so what I was about to mention is that I remember finding this comic a really long time ago, like this meme comic of Wind Waker, where the King of Red Lions is just sitting there like, Link, you gotta get this and that and this and that! Ganon is probably killing your sister right now! What's wrong with you? Why are you taking so long? And then... <laughs> and then the next panel is just Aurel having tea with Ganon. It's just like, more tea, Mr. Ganon? <laughs> if I find it, I'll throw it up on screen for you right now, but it was so funny. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, but this is the first game that the Rito appeared in. I mean, technically it'd be Ocarina of Time since they evolved from Zora's, but whatever. Well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Valu's anger? No! I'm still working on it! Ah, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. Thank you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? Yeah, I was gonna ask if he was a problem. As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. Hey, hang on a second. Sorry about that. Um... We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. Oh no. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Yes! 
Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Hmm. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Yes! I love that animation, it's so cute! I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish to you for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding a blah, blah, a young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Thank you, Chieftain. I will go talk to her. Here, think. Take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. A delivery bag! Yeah! Finally crafted bags like this are used by the Reno Postman everywhere! Woohoo! But yes, this is where you're gonna keep a lot of your documents, letters, all that. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the Great Valu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. So yeah, they they just they're just like, okay, this outsider is is here. He is uh he he is tasked with uh helping his sister, and we will help him, but after we solve our own problems by ourselves, we, we don't need him to help us. Okay, the Postman minigame is over here. I'm probably gonna head outside and see if I can find the guy who's supposed to work here as a part-timer, but let's talk to Bentley! Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange-shaped hat. You're Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. All right. Yes, I have it. Hooray! Father's letter. It's a letter from a father addressed to his son. Why, why, why he doesn't just go into his room and talk to him himself is beyond me, but, you know, we have it in our delivery bag now, and it's telling us how to pull it out. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple of steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Link. I have a small favor I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. All right, I'll do that. Uh, now I'm gonna go outside and see if that guy is there to see. <laughs> Just to see. I wanna see if he's there yet. Um, I know. Um, uh, okay. For those of you who are looking, for, who are looking to complete the Nintendo Gallery, there is a missable NPC here who will fly away and disappear forever if uh, if um, uh, if, if you're um. Uh, words uh <laughs> if you're at a certain point in the game okay and it looks like the guy isn't here yet it seems it's kind of annoying oh well uh let's uh <laughs> let, let's just let's just go upstairs and uh oh i think i think you can only do it after you beat dragon's cavern or maybe after you take the letter to come like i don't know ah either way i just i just want to do that quest i like it <laughs> okay Let's go pay a visit to Prince Kamali. Okay, so we have all our bags now. That's good. Uh, yeah, let's set it to the X button. There we go. Wee! Yeah, this is this is where Kamali's room is. I remember finding this by accident, or like, no, I was watching Violet's play, and he found it by accident. It was just like, hello, um, are you Prince Kamali? <laughs> yep, th there he is, just looking at that that pearl there that we need to beat the game. Hey, man, what's up? Huh? Who are you supposed to be? What do you want from me, huh? I- I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Here you go. Have- have a letter from your dad. A letter? From my father? Oh sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business? You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I re re blah, blah, blah. Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What, are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh, that's just a big fat lie. 
It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Now, if you talk to him again, he'll tell you about the pearl. What? Oh, this? It's strange. Holding this calms me down. I forget all the bad things. It's so pretty, isn't it? It's called Din's Pearl. My grandma gave it to me. My grandma used to be Valu's attendant. She was the only person on the island who understood Valu's language. Oh, grandma. If she were here, I know she could calm Valu down. I just know it. But my father and the rest? No matter how hard they try, they'll fail. I know it. No one else can calm Valu down. It's impossible. What? What is it, huh? Listen, you can stare all you want, but I'm not giving this to you. This is my treasure, you understand? My precious! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not going to just hand it over to some do-nothing guy, am I? Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave and, uh, hopefully find the guy. You know what? I'm just gonna cut to if I find the guy. If not, then I'm gonna cut back here and we'll go see what Madly's up to on Dragon Roost Cavern. So yeah, just, just, uh, just give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so I did not find the guy, but I figured, um, you might have to talk to the postman here to find out. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's talk to him. Hello. Hi. Well, now, I've not seen your young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Hmm? You wouldn't be here in response to our posting for some part-time help, would you? Uh, yes. Oh, excellent. That is good. But first, to see if you, if I could use you or not, I need to, to, to give you a little test. Just a small one. Match the seal on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter- yeah, yeah. Yeah, this it's really not that hard. Is that clear? Yeah, I understand. Before time runs out, you have to sort at least ten letters. Give it your best shot. Okay, I can do ten. Oh, shoot, shoot! Messed up! Oh, 22, not bad. 22 letters, great, good, terrific. You passed, hooray. Okay, I get one rupee for every two letters, so 11? Nice, come back anytime. I mean, anytime, please. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm ready for work. Uh, let's do it again, okay. 20 or more letters, I'll get some more stuff. Okay, I will get started. No, wrong one, ah, shoot. Ah. Oh, hey, 21, not bad. That's 21 letters, yay. Your salary is one rupee per letter, so I need to pay you 21. Come on by any time. This, this is better, the better you do, the higher your salary will become. That's economics. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do 25. 25, give it up to 25, yeah. No! Dang it, I messed up! Ah, shoot! Okay, I can do 25, I've done it before! Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just gonna spend some time here, sorry, just... Give me a minute. Okay, I made it back to 22, but... Uh, you just gotta get really lucky with, like, one... Part where it, like, has a bunch, like I did with the 10. Okay, let's try this again. Baby, third time's the charm, yeah, 25, yay! Hey, we're giving up for 25, seriously, I'm stupefied, incredulous, we veterans do this all day long, and even we have a hard time reaching that amount. I've got to give you more money. Three rupees, okay, so 75, I, uh, I, I'm capped. Hey, your name wouldn't happen to be Link, would it? It is, isn't it? Mm-hmm, I thought you looked like the lad the chieftain was talking about. In that case, I should have expected you to be able to pull off something like this. I've heard all about you. Yes, I'm sure you- uh, I sure have. You have- you've had a rough time, Link. I feel bad making you help us. But hey, things are looking up. Our new helper's just arrived. Maybe you can give him some advice next time you come by. Yeah, so now he should have arrived. Uh, we can come say hi to him, which is what I'm going to do. I would love to say hi to him. He's a cool dude. <laughs> so let's- let's go do that. Um, maybe we'll start the dungeon on the next episode. That'd be fun. I, I actually like Dragon Roost Cavern. It's, it's the first dungeon. It's nice, short, sweet, to the point. Where's the dude? 
Hello? 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 Where'd he go? Isn't he like, he's up there usually, like, oh gosh, where, where is the dude? He's not here. Is he just going to appear when I come back inside the Harry? <laughs> That's probably what's gonna happen. Someone who knows this game way better than I do will uh, will tell me. While this is the Zelda game I played the second most, I don't know the side quests very well. I know the main quest really well. Like, I have the main quest memorized, I know the boss fights extremely well, but uh, everything else in regards to side quests other than a few others, I do not know at all. Did he just appear? Oh, there he is! He appears! Hello! Hey, man, I'm the new part-timer. Green clothes and a green hat? Pardon me for asking, but you're a Link, aren't you? Yes, I am. Aha! I knew it! You're a legend among the part-timers here. I really admire you, man. Just once, I'd love to see the legendary 25-letter sword. Do your best, man. Oh, boy, here you go. Yeah, again, you just gotta get lucky. Oh, shoot! Wrong one! Ah! Dang it! Ah! I messed up. I'm a bit rusty. Oh, dang it. Miss two. H hang on, I'll do it. 23? Man, you must be bushed. Can't wait to see you try again, though. Okay, yeah, you have to get 25 in order to do this quest right, so, uh, yeah, just, uh, just give me a minute. I'll do it. Oh, so close! I just, meh! I was so close! I was so close, dang it! I will do it! Or die trying! Shoot, 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 shoot! No! If I didn't miss that one! No! Ah! I will do this! Oh! 26! Nice! Oh my gosh! 26 letters! Amazing, man! I'm so impressed! Seriously, man! I've gotta tell my mom back home all about this! I just gotta! I've, I've got a favor to ask you, man. I'm still new here, so I'm not allowed to leave. Uh, so would you mind putting this letter to my mom in the post box for me? Thanks a lot, man. Absolutely, man! Note to mom! It's so sad, you could almost cry. <laughs> I guess I could just throw it in here with all the other letters, but, uh, I just can't bring myself to do it. It's against the rules, man. I understand you, man. Don't worry, I'll, I'll deliver this letter to your mom. <laughs> but yes, that is, that is the letter sorting game. I am pretty, pretty good at it. <laughs> it's just a bit rusty. Okay, so you need to find the nearest post box, which is outside here. And the reason why I'm doing this now is because I'll get a new letter in the mail once I finish the dungeon. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of why I'm bothering to do this now. Hello. Uh, have, have a letter. Yes. There we go. Ka-chunk! This post box is near Dragon Roost Island. Postage is only five rupees. Oh, I gotta pay postage? Ah! Uh, your parcel is accepted, blah blah blah. Okay. Dang it, I gotta, gotta pay postage. That sucks, man. <laughs> no wonder Yizma didn't want to... <laughs> didn't, didn't want to mail Cusco bug to herself and smash it with the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's go, now, okay, now, I believe, are you the man whose, uh, whose girlfriend needs, uh, needs, uh, golden feathers? Oh, yeah, this, this man. If I get him 20 golden feathers, he'll, uh, he'll be happy, because he needs, his girlfriend loves those feathers, and, you know, he, he wants to get those to her. Okay, so this is, um, the entrance to Dragon Roost Cavern. We need to get in through the other side, though. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's let's do that. Wee! All right. Uh, is this way? No, that's Kamali's room. Uh, here's the way. All right, here we go. Let's roll. Yay! All right. Now, this place is desolate. It is sad. There's Medley. Hi, Medley. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how is Prince Kamali? Oh... That doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. 
She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Link, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Phew, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. All right, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Yeah, so pay attention to the wind here, and then you're going to stand on this ledge and toss Medley toward that cliff. Now, you can throw her against the wall, but why would you do that? That's rude. There we go. <laughs> Hello? Oh, thank you! I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Did she just throw this at me? Like, just, just down there. I got a bottle. Woo! First bottle. Woo! Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Thank you. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to the both of us. Okay, on the next episode, we're going to go follow her into Dragon Roost Cavern, so we'll see you later. Goodbye!